Chris, you want to do a roll call? Yes. Karen? Yes. Kate? Yes. Jake? Yes. Josh? Yes. Larry? Yes. Raymond? Yes. And Paul? Not yet. OK. OK. All righty. I need approval of the uh, regular board minutes from April 21st and the special board meeting on May 1st. I move that we approve the minutes. I need a second. I'll second that. Roll call. Karen? Yes. Kate? Yes. Jake? Yes. Josh? Sorry, yes, I got to unmute myself. I don't know. Sorry. Larry? <laughs> yes. Raymond? Yes. Okay, communications? So nothing by the time that I put this out, but I did say that I had a conversation with um, Maggie Zock and she, she, interestingly enough, waited until 11 days before she's no longer a functioning board member of the Newberry Schools, but <laughs> she is reaching out, uh, trying to find out if there's interest in us staying on that, uh, in that facility and doing some collaborative thing. And I said, of course, we're obviously willing to have a conversation. So um, we'll see. That's, uh, we'll keep talking. Yeah, aren't they holding a, a community meeting? Tomorrow. Um, oh, is it tomorrow? Okay. Tomorrow there'll be a, a meeting and anybody can log on and be a hole in the wall or there's a link on the, uh, <clears throat> the Newberry site. And uh, it's just a Zoom meeting, I think. Um, right. So if you have a moment and you're interested. There you go. Okie dokie. Fiscal officer. Oh, no, sorry. Skipped over. Approval of the agenda. I need an approval. I'll move the approval of the agenda. Second that. Was that okay. Kate? I'm sorry. That was yes. Kate, yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. And I don't, there wasn't any, nobody had any uh, additions or corrections, right? Good. No, because you already okay. had the yeah, care of furniture. Okay. All right, so we're good. So all in favor of the agenda? Aye. 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 Uh, fiscal officer's report. I need approval for the disbursements in April. I move that we approve the uh, disbursements for April. I'll second that. Okay, Any discussion? Roll call. Karen? Yes. Kate? Yes. Jake? Yes. Josh? Yes. Larry? Yes. Raymond? Yes. Okay, and then I also gave an update um, about the working from home from the auditor. They're trying to clarify what he exactly meant, but I don't think he really wants to give a definite answer. But one of the suggestions was that we include in the board minutes or in a packet uh, the services that the staff did provide or could provide while they were off that just to show that, that they are able to work from home. So I did include a sheet that showed broken down by department and then what all staff could do. So that was what was basically expected that they would do while off and still being paid. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to go through me to go through the rest of this. Oh, I the budget commission hearing is August 17th. And they had in the wording of the announcement, you know, where the letter I get that it strongly suggested mm -hmm. that a member of the board, a legislative body attend. I've never seen that before, so no. I'm not sure what no, that we, means, but it's strongly yeah. suggested. We've always had somebody. I don't know. Yeah, we I always know. have. I just wanted to put that out there that it's there. Yeah. And also, normally in May, we approve the tax budget. I haven't had time to do it. So I made the decision to move that to June. June. So in the June meeting, we'll have the um, budget hearing and then you can approve the tax budget. Okay. And I'll meet with the finance committee before that. Okay. okay. I put it on my calendar. I can be there. 
good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I can be there. In the past, we've kind of not wanted me there near the commissioners, but if anybody wants to be there, just let me know and I'll be happy to show up. They well, said that, and they also commission. said that they're going to have to social distance. And, and I mean, <laughs> you've been there. It's not a big room. So I don't, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to handle the, it. Uh, ante room, yeah. Yeah, this is I, yeah. the commissioners, though. This is the budget commission, so it's right, the budget. auditor, it's treasurer, right. and this and right, prosecutor. Right, but it's still a small room. It's not yeah, a big room. Small. Small. Just normally, so I don't know how they can put six. I don't know, this, but yeah, whatever. I can sit in the ante room. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. You know, right. But they, they're fine now, and everything's great. And you know, it's a mess anyway. So good luck to them. <laughs> that's what I say. Good luck figuring this one out. Okay, so that's good fine. Point. No problem. All righty, super, thanks. Maybe they uh, could use our Bostwick room. <laughs> <laughs> a little more space. You know, they they moved, yeah. the commissioners have moved their meeting, so they have a bigger meeting room. So I, I was kind of surprised that they were still going to have it in the same. <coughs> same little room. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, well, maybe they'll change their minds by then. Uh, let's see, human resources. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Myra. First. You need director and assistant director. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Okay. Did I skip right over? I did. Oh, yeah. why did I do that? We're in a hurry today. Oh, That's all right. Wait, I'm crossing things off now, so we don't do that again. Okay. Hey. <laughs> ah, now we're good. We're back to you. Sorry about so, that. And I thought well, we were done good. quick this time. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> out. I and we're out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Foundation. Foundation, we're done. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. uh, we, in addition to what's in the, in my report, we did get to walk around the site at Thompson. It was nice to see almost all the, all the glasses up. They're still going to put up the doors and then the whole thing will be sealed off. Uh, it, it just looks spectacular when you start to see it get done. Uh, it looks totally different, Larry, than when we were just there right before the lockdown. So, oh, yeah. um, and then we'll see Bainbridge on Thursday. We'll get to do a walkthrough, and that is going to be just completely different from what we saw because they've got a similar situation going on. Um, we did resolve the gas line should be completely resolved now. Um, they've got the check. They've cashed the check, and now they're coordinating that. Um, so that it's at Thompson, I guess the well is being drilled possibly today, I think. Um, Patrick Jolly sent me a text message saying that that was happening, but I'm not sure what's happening with that. And I'm not sure that I have anything else that's not in here other than we did get, um, we got an email from uh, Kathy Katani from the Chagrin Valley Herb Society mm -hmm. and we don't really have any new information yet until we get the next level of conversation with the engineers. And hopefully that'll be this Thursday uh, to talk about how they want to lay this out. But it looks promising. It looks like they're not going to eat up a whole bunch more land. It looks like it's not going to be more expensive. It looks like a better solution than what we had. So, but I can't promise her anything. And she wants promises before a certain date and my only thing we wrote was just that we cannot even promise to protect the stuff so she doesn't want to have to move things twice and I respect that having done it myself but I don't know what to tell her I can't give her definitive answers so I believe the I copied the uh, ad hoc facilities I think Kate got it Raymond right. got it and I think Jake got that email just to show so yeah, uh, but we'll have more information, and doesn't mean they'll be happy or sad. We'll find out. <laughs> and that's my report. Okay, super. Assistant Director's report. Um, I don't have a lot to add to my report. I just want to highlight that we continued in April to provide um, distance resources and services, and improve on those, and work on new ways to connect with the community. And um, as expected, our e-circulation rates were up significantly. They went up 149% over last year. So um, that is a bright spot. And we also spent a significant amount of time 
working on uh, procedures to put in place for today, which was is the first day of um, holds pickups for the public. And that's it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now we can go to human resources. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Um, I and need approval for two retirement gifts, one for a part time and one for a full time, which is listed on the HR report. OK, I need a motion. Second. I'll, I'll move that we approve the gifts for the retirees. A second. I'll second that. Just curious who's retiring. Um, they're listed. Uh, Kathy Sweet is retiring and Larry Legg. Right. Okay. Thanks. Kathy Sweet has been more than four decades. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Our girls grew up together and, and it was very sweet. I mean, well, I shouldn't say sweet, but you know. Um, but, but it was really Kath, Kathy's my cousin, and I know she's been a very uh, dedicated person. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, the girls grew up together, and, you know, we attended all the things in Chardon together, so it was really cool. So it's really nice to see her retire. Really Kathy great. was at the library before I even started. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Way back. Okay. And, so. uh, and um, that's all I I have for asking. I just want to give you an update. We um well, uh, we need right. a hold on. We need a yeah. vote, and oh, we also need to, to approve the human resource actions. Right. Okay. Any no, okay? We're good with discussion. Then let's go ahead and do a roll call on the retirees. Okay. Karen. Yes. Kate. Yes. Jake. Yes. Josh. Yes. Larry. Yes. Raymond. Yes. And then uh. You wanted a motion on the uh, what other else? Oh, the um, okay. So then we got to go on to the furloughed. We need to. Well, you want to cover that? I just wanted to let everybody know the status of the furloughed. We have um, split up all the names, and everybody's Lisa, Chris, Ed, and myself have contacted everybody that was on furlough and asked how they're doing, what's going on. I've been getting emails and also calls with, you know, certain questions and, you know, how they should do this and that kind of stuff. So we're helping them as much as we can. And so um, pretty much it seems like everybody's doing OK. They're just having a hard time getting in because um, jobs and family services is so inundated with uh, so many others also trying to collect unemployment. So just wanted to give you that update. And um, some of the paperwork from Ohio Jobs and Family Services is coming in to me, and I will be filling that out. So uh, the unemployment should be going to the furloughed employees soon. And then, uh, Lisa, I think you want a approval of human resources actions to cover everything. Yes. I yes. need a motion on that. So moved. Ray Rondelli. Need a second. I'll second. Kate seconds. Thank you. Discussion. Okay, then I need a roll call. Karen? Yes. Kate? Yes. Jake? Yes. Josh? Yes. Larry? Yes. Raymond? Yes. Thank you. All right, get out. Uh, committee reports, ad hoc facilities. So this will be the change orders and we do have the benefit of Scott Weaver visiting. He's a guesting here. Um, so you have the big change order, which is called change order 004, which is a deduct of 96,051. This is the, uh, the money that was left over, the credit from the renovations, the holds and contingencies for Jago West and middle field and that it's going to have to be its own uh i think it's going to have to be its own vote because that's one gmp okay. and then the other would be the gmp for uh new, new buildings yeah i was okay. moving down for that so the first one we need to talk about all right 
And we did have some trustees in those meetings, in that right. change meeting. Yeah. I will happily move that we take money back. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. I will happily second that. Yes. Okay. Any further discussion on that? Then I need a roll call to take the money back. Karen? Yes. Kate? Yes. Jake? Yes. Raymond? Yes. Larry? Yes. Josh? Yes. Then change order 004 for the new buildings. We have a section for Bainbridge and a section for Thompson. Um, and there's an outline of the detail of each of these uh, broken down in the in the package there. And if you need a narrative, we have Larry and Scott both here to talk. <laughs> if anyone has any discussion or questions. No. Okay. I need a motion to do a change order. I will move the approval of the uh, change orders for uh, Bainbridge and Thompson. I'll second that motion. Any further discussion? Roll call. Karen? Yes. Kate? Yes. Jake? Yes. Josh? Yes. Larry? He's Larry? breaking up. He's in a yes. bad spot. Larry? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Raymond? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, we're to the approval of the uh, Thompson Furniture. So that I sent out, I believe, on Saturday. That's another PDF, 31 pages. And yeah, boy, these were some exciting meetings going through the details of these as well. Uh, but this should be enough to get us set up for Thompson for uh, this institutional furniture, I'm going to hope, will last beyond my retirement. <laughs> So you're just looking for approval for that? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. I move to approve the Thompson furniture. I, I'll second that, Kate. Discussion on the furniture? Anybody? Okay. And I need a roll call. Karen. Yes. Kate. 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 Yes. Okay. Jake. Yes. Josh. Yes. Larry. Yes. Raymond? Yes. Okay. That brings us to unfinished business. Anything? I don't have anything in there that I'm aware of unless somebody else does. Okay. Uh, then number 12, new business. Approval of the uh, move the June board meeting location. That was originally scheduled for Newberry, and as Newberry is uncertain, we thought we should pull it back to the ad center or maintain a virtual. Um, and it can be yes. either or, okay. or a combination. All right, then let's make it a motion to do either. We can either do the ad center or we can do the other, depending on what the governor says. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> if we can't have more than 10 in a room, that could be difficult. So we might end up being virtual again. So it's going to be either way. But we so can, move. for the record, make it admin center just so that it's official. And then, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We, Motion yeah. is for the admin center with the discretion to do it uh, virtually if the um, consensus says we need to social distance. Okay. And I'll second that. Good. Any other discussion on that one? Okie doke. Uh, everybody in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, doke. Uh, board development. I don't have anything except, boy, you guys are doing a good job with Microsoft Teams. <laughs> <laughs> Paul was so relaxed last time he was drinking wine, and I maybe know. maybe that happened again this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we we, we oh. adapted. No, that's okay. That's a... Um, <laughs> Becky. Foundation, Becky. Okay, okay. I, I don't have too much to report. Um, 
our April meeting was canceled and we scheduled our May meeting for next week on May 26. So I don't have too much to report um, other than we had allocated some dollars to sponsor the summer reading kickoff that was originally scheduled for June 6th at Westwood and it's been canceled. Um, so we're reallocating those funds to try to help um, do promotion for summer reading. So we're going to do some print advertising and maybe get some signs for outdoor outside of the branches just to get people to log on and do the virtual version of summer reading. So that's really the only thing that um, changed. Um, we were also invited last week to give a presentation on the Imagination Library to the Chesterland Rotary at their Zoom meeting. Thank you, Larry and Larry, for giving us the opportunity to present the program to uh, to the club. And we um, are also getting on uh, the Chardon Rotary's uh, schedule as well. Uh, they've been doing their meetings virtually, and um, so we're going to try to get on their one of their agendas here soon. So hopefully I'll have more to report next month after we all get together next week. Good. Thanks. Thank uh, you. OK. Anything else to you got? Anybody? No. Nope. Oh my gosh, it's about the shortest meeting we've ever had. This is um, the shortest, yes. <laughs> comments from the public, which... Okay, don't all chime in your words. Uh, okay, then if nobody else has anything else, we're ready to adjourn. I'll move, move to adjourn. <laughs> Somebody, Kate, you second? I'll do that, I'll second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Got it. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thank you all. Yep. Right, folks. Hopefully <laughs> see you that June I... in the building. Yep. Right. Nice. Go okay. for it. Bye, all.